welcome to your weekly love reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. October 4th through the 10th. So guys, um, this is just a weekly. There is also a monthly posted for October as well as a singles reading for October if you're super single. This reading isn't going to be geared specifically toward couples or singles. We'll just see what wants to come out. But if it doesn't resonate and you are single, there is one just for you. All right, here we go, Cancer. What you up to? Overall energy for Cancer. In love. Oh, beautiful. Look at ya. The sun. Yay. Thank goodness. I just did Aries and they had like the hardest freaking reading I've done in a long time. It was so sad. So to pull that one right off the top for you guys, it's pretty damn cool. I was ready to give up for the day. <laughs> Recent past for cancer. Karma reverse judgment. Two majors right off the top. Present energy for cancer and love. Four of Pentacles reversed. Immediate future. Uh oh, Five of Swords. Somebody's mad at you. It's okay though. You're good. You don't care. All right. Potential obstacle for Cancer. Nine of Pentacles. Immediate, not immediate future. We already did that. Advice. <laughs> Advice for Cancer. The Five of Pentacles. Oh boy. Oh boy, Cancer. All right, here we go. So for me as a reader, I am losing my voice. I'm sorry about it. For me as a reader, the overall energy is always the person that I'm reading for. It's the only card in the deck that is specifically for you. Everything else um, can be for you, the person you're dealing with, outside influences, all that good stuff, okay? So guys, you are in the sun energy. So you couldn't be better. You're good. You're happy. There's nothing out there that is like, that has you stumped that you don't know. Like you have clarity on everything. You're looking at everything with open eyes. Like you are good to go. Beautiful Cancer. Clarify the sun for Cancer. We don't need to. It's the happiest card in the deck, but I'm going to do it. Clarify the sun for cancer. <laughs> yes, yes, cancer, I love it. You have the god, which is the emperor in this deck. Okay, so Aries energy, but it, again, it doesn't matter because we're still in your energy. So divine masculine, you could be really in touch with your masculine side, whether you're male or female, doesn't matter. We have Leo and Aries here, so um, super masculine energy. But um, you could be really happy with an Aries, but I don't think so. I think that this is, this is we're still just on your energy. So you're really taking control of your life with that masculine energy. You're being really aggressive. Um, not in a bad way you're just it's your life you're the boss of it and you're creating your own happiness you know um you could be a parent you could now have your own business you could be on on your way to i don't know starting your own business whatever starting a family but you couldn't be in better energy honestly all right now what's up with your world your recent past, you've karma reverse. This is judgment. So you close the door on something. Um, you may have been in a karmic connection. Somebody might have tried to come back from your past and you weren't having it. Um, so you've closed the door on something. You made a final decision. Um, hopefully it's not an energy of you not trusting your own judgment because I think you're good to go. You're all in this emperor and sun energy. You're like untouchable. Like nobody's Nobody's fucking with you right now. You're not doubting yourself. So I think you just close the door on something. And with the four of pentacles reverse here, earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but this is a letting go. So like I said, you close the door on something, you let go of something that you were previously holding on to. 
um, and you're kind of like if you were closed off emotionally you're opening back up you're starting to kind of you know put yourself out there emotionally unblock your heart shock or whatever it is for you clarify the four of pentacles reversed clarify the four of pentacles reversed for cancer Summerlands, which is the full Aries energy again. Um, so you are embarking on a whole new journey, a new story. It's a new beginning. You're jumping right in. You have an open heart. Good to go. Let's clarify that full. sun here in the summer lands you might have met this person um, during Leo season you might have just recently met them all right clarify the full for cancer what is this full energy for cancer Too many guys clarify the full for cancer oh the hanged man what you guys have so many majors okay so here guys are you confused okay so there's this new beginning here for you there's this whole new journey you could embark on you are in control here but you're kind of not taking any action. Like you want it, but you're not doing anything about it. It's gonna be up to you. You are the one that is in control of this situation. So if you want it, if you're ready to take that leap of faith, you're gonna have to be the one to take that action. Because with you being in this emperor energy here, you're the one that is in control. Okay, if you want someone, go get them. They're there. All right, somebody's hanging out, not taking any action, but it's there if you want it. All right, all right. Now in the future though, you have the five of swords here. So air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but this is some conflict. You might just be conflicted on what to do here or someone else might be, or somebody might be pissed at you. Somebody might just be pissed that you're doing what you're doing. And if, if that's the case, it's probably this person who um, got the door slammed in their face in the recent past. Clarify the Five of Swords for Cancer. On the floor. All right, let me get it here, guys. Where did it go? <coughs> it's the Nine of Earth, Nine of Pentacles, which you also have as, as an obstacle. Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So here's what I see because I've already pulled this Nine of Pentacles as your obstacle. So you now have it twice and you have it in the future with the conflict. So here's what it is. You're conflicted on whether or not you wanna stay single. You have this opportunity here and you kind of wanna jump into it, you know, all whatever, like all childlike jumping in, you know, with no worries whatever your heart's wide open but then you also don't want to do anything about it because it's almost like you've gotten to a point where you're so good being single and things are so easy being single like you're the boss of your life and you're happy why would you want to risk that right um but this is a good thing it's a good thing it's just some inner conflict on you know gosh man like I've gotten so good, I've gotten to this place where I'm independent, I'm free, I'm the, I'm my own boss, nobody can tell me what to do, nobody can tie me down, um, but I really wanna do this, but like, I wanna be single too, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and there's nothing wrong with that, and I understand that the whole way. But being in a relationship or, or a commitment that's healthy, it's not going to make you feel restricted anyway. Um, so as long as this is a healthy connection, 
you're still gonna be able to have your independence. You're still gonna be able to be your own boss. All right, because a healthy connection isn't going to take that away. So it's not something that you need to be afraid of unless somewhere in you, you know that this connection is not healthy. In which case I would say then pay attention to your intuition, right? All right. <clears throat> your advice though is the five of pentacles. So there is someone that needs left behind here. Um, there's someone that needs left out in the cold. You shut the door on someone. You need to not open it back up to them. Let's clarify this five of pentacles. There may be some rejection, some abandonment issues that you need to get over. Clarify the five of pentacles for cancer. Yeah. <laughs> You've got the sun. Again, it's Litha in this in this deck, but it is the sun card. You have it in your overall and you have it in your advice. So just keep focusing on your happiness. Let go of what needs let go of. Heal any rejection abandonment issues that have you hesitant to move towards this connection because that's where the inner conflict is going to come from, okay? because it looks good to go. You look like you want to do it. And like I keep saying, you are in control of it. So whichever way you want it to go is the way that it's going to go. Don't forget that you are the boss of your own life, even if you're in a relationship or connection. Okay. All right. Take care guys.